Hey, what's going on everybody? Ginger Viking or Spartan here today, and I'm going to be doing a video that I've been waiting a while to do um, due to the fact I had to get all the items, find them, get them shipped, um, but I'm super pumped to do it. So today I'm going to be doing a comparison of all three M55 pattern vests, flak jackets or vests, what do you want to call them, and then uh, throwing in the three quarters as well. I'm going to throw a disclaimer in there. Uh, three quarters are cool and all, but if you're trying to do Marine Corps, it's kind of a no-no. I know there's like um, maybe like three or four pictures out there of Marines using three quarters. Um, it just wasn't a big thing. I mean, uh, at all, if at all, I know a few people, you, you can sprinkle some, um, you know, reference photos in there. But again, it's just not a thing you want to do. But I will compare it um, to the other vests so you can see the differences, which are pretty clear. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so here are the three M55, uh, all different patterns. So you have the first pattern, the second pattern, and then the third. Over here is the three quarters, and I'm going to break each one of them down and give the information that I know. And if I get anything wrong, uh, please do drop it in the comments uh, and let me know if I got a date wrong or whatever. Uh, we're all learning. We all make mistakes. So anyway, um, we'll start with the earliest adaptation uh, of the M55, which is the M55 first pattern. This is the uh, this is the flak jacket that uh, Marines first wore into Vietnam, and uh, some stuck with it from uh, for their whole enlistment, or um, I should say deployment, not enlistment. Uh, some of them were able to get the upgrade. Uh, the upgrade it's not much of an upgrade, but with the two front pockets on uh, that are sewn on. So anyway, to break it in, to go a little bit deeper into an M55 first pattern, as I alluded to before, no no pockets. Um, other than that, the, the, um, the design is identical to the second pattern. Uh, they both have one shooter cord. Okay. Uh, they both have a pocket on the front for a 30, uh, a 30, 30, 20 rounder or a pack of cigarettes, a small notebook, uh, whatever you can fit in there, whatever you feel comfortable, um, you know, putting in there. Um, other than that, there's not too much different between the first and the second, because from my knowledge, the... A few of uh, like the remaining first patterns got converted into second patterns and then they continued new production of the second patterns all the way up until the 80s. Uh, again, anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do know that there is 80s dated ones. I, I've seen them around. Um, anyway, moving on from there, all three M55s have the same type of plates and they have them in the same type of configuration. Um, I can't tell you if they are all how to put it in the vest the same way like the um for instance I'll, I'll show you what i mean by that so if you open up my my first pattern and it's got i'm gonna have to re-sew this but in here these are your plates this is your plate insert and it has a protective nylon coat over the the plates um i don't know if the second and the first or the third have the same type of protection for the plates but as you can see the plates Inter interlock or interweave um, in between each other, providing more protection. Here's a Duron plate for reference. Um, so anyway, these plates would stack like that, inter interlocking or interweaving, as I've said hundreds of times, I guess. Um, and then let me open up the vest here. And as you can see, um, when you open up the vest, you have your, your one plate here, one plate here, uh, a whole roll of plates here. And a whole row of plates along the bottom. Um, a, a size large should consist of 27 plates, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Um, so anyway, to give you guys an up-close thing of the tag, uh, I believe that says 55. Uh, I might be completely wrong. I, I don't know. Um, very. I just got this, so I'm new to learning the first pattern. There's also this really cool stamp. If anyone knows what this stamp means or what it is, let me know. You got your size, um, and I will get a good kind of a couple seconds here on this so you can read it if you feel so inclined to do so. Um, so there are uh, earlier flak, va uh, flak jackets that came in during the Korean War, uh, which would be the M52 and the M52A. Um, the most notable differences uh, between them and the M55 is the addition of the uh, collar and the pocket, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, uh, just another thing to keep in mind too, watch out for anybody who may be selling a first pattern and if there's any like, uh, stitching here or what it looks like to be stitching from a, um, from like where the pocket would be, because that could be a first pattern that somebody removed the pockets from. I won't name names, uh, 
but I love you, buddy. I know you know who you are. I love you. <laughs> I'm just playing around. Uh, anyway, um, here's the second pattern moving on. Second patterns, I believe, came into prominence in, what, 60, I think 68? They came into pro prominence. Uh, I might be wrong. Uh, maybe even earlier. Maybe. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to say maybe even like 66, 67 maybe. Um, this one particular one is dated 60, uh, 68. Um, there is a little bit difference in the um, the tag here. This one sadly does not have the plates in it. Um, I traded it for an extra large with no plates. So there's not much to say, but it's the same thing. You can see where the plates would have been, um, you know, where I showed you stacking on there and then da 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 da. So there's not much to say. Um, as I said, it's very, it's basically the same vest as the first, just with the addition of the nylon pockets. Um, both carriers are made out of cotton, opposed to the third pattern, which we're going to be going to next. Um, it still retains the, the uh, little pocket, and they also added a hanger. Um, other than that, I mean, you can kind of see they're, they're pretty much almost identical other than the pockets. Uh, they both still have the M1910 hangers, uh, moving over. Uh, this is the third pattern and the third pattern is probably the most, um, controversial you'd say, or, um, kind of like a weird vest. Um, because these are, these are still Vietnam era. These are hundred percent correct for most kits, um, except for maybe early war. From my knowledge, what happened was, uh, is they, the U.S. government had a surplus of, um, kind of ripped up and just destroyed first and second patterns. Um, so they sent the good Duron plates to Okinawa, and then in Okinawa, Japan, they had them rebuilt. Um, from my research, it would cost something like $30 for a new flak vest to be made. Um, but it would cost something like $11 to have a, a third pattern made. Um, so a little bit of money saved there. Probably the only time the government ever tried to save some money for the taxpayers, but that's besides the point. Um, the biggest noticeable differences is you have nylon pockets with a nylon carrier opposed to nylon pockets, cotton carrier. Okay. Um, same thing. You still have your, your button flap, your pocket. Um, also, exposed buttons. The third pattern has exposed buttons that come down to a, uh, a, a kind of a point or sh whatever you want to call it versus the third pattern or flap, pretty much. Uh, again, with buttons exposed. Um, two shooter cords. And it looks to be, again, a different, um, a different tag. So I'll pull it in a little closer here. This is a size medium. It's unmarked. And I don't see any dates on this one. A um, little bit of either graffiti or a serial number with uh, initials. Um, again, same layout for the plates. You have them all um, through the bottom. Another row up here. And then you got your two on your chest. Um, I will flip all of the uh, vests around and just show you the backs of them. Because there's not much to say about the backs of them. Uh, moving on to the the no-no vest, I call it. Or the, um, you know, just it's a cool vest to have pretty much. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, is a three quarters. There's also a M69, which removes the zipper and you just have a Velcro flap. Um, that's an M69. The three quarters has the zipper, uh, with, uh, you know, obviously with the three quarters, it's called a three quarters collar and you, they added in a bigger collar. You can kind of see the difference, um, between them. This is one that some people get into Vietnam and they think they're getting up the flak jacket they need, but they, they aren't. Um, again, these are really only cool just to have. Um, some of the noticeable differences or key things to look out for is, um, as you can tell, uh, other than this one, uh, my other M55s, they're kind of um, rigid, you know, because you, you have the Duron plates versus the three quarters, which has the um, kind of uh, uh, floppy flak um, Kevlar type deal. Um, so it's a little bit more minute, like movable, I don't know, bendable or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then there's two different versions. Uh, there's one with the, uh, contract code, uh, what is it? A hundred, one, one, uh, one, two, two. And that's the, uh, the only difference is, is there's another one. I forget the other contract code, but it has, it's a little bit more floppy. Um, other than that, they have, uh, two front pockets, uh, with, these are snaps opposed to buttons. You have, um, some grenade hangers, um, I mean, there's not much else to say about the three quarters. Just kind of stick away from it unless you just want it for 
like collection purposes just to just to have a flak vest or whatever but if you're again if you're doing marines um just don't don't use it uh it's not it's a no-no um on a complete side note some of the other thing uh one of the other things you're gonna want to get and it's uh almost a uh it's called an sop a standing operating procedure for all marines is you were required to carry your m17 protective mask so uh next to the flak the two major things you need is an m17 even just the bag um you don't actually necessarily need the mask but get the bag and the m55 and those are the two like mandatory if you're gonna do marines you need those two things now, let me flip them over for you. All right, now the vests are flipped over. You can see um, the first and second pattern are almost identical. Um, moving over to the third pattern, you can tell that the third pattern is made out of the nylon carrier opposed to the cotton carrier. Um, other than that, there's the three quarters. The three quarters, again, is a no-go. But um, this particular one was gifted to me by Four Leaf, and he went out and got it. And we found out that the pr prior owner decided to give this... Um, give this flak jacket to his kids and his kids decided to make it a stab vest. So it looks like you took a claymore or a freaking 12 gauge to the back. Um, but anyway, guys, um, in conclusion, these are the three M 55s and, um, keep your eye out for them. If you want to do a Marines kit, because you're going to need one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative or helpful or even just fun to watch entertaining at the least. Um, you know, like subscribe, follow, it really helps me out. It really keeps me encouraged to like keep making videos and doing things um, on YouTube and on Instagram because, you know, it just it's nice to see if people are enjoying your content and your, you know, the hard work and editing and like getting all the items is like worth it. Um, you know, I just it really does help means a lot. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later.